What it do, world? We back. Kelly Jean here. Lucky Lou. You watching Lou Channel TV. We appreciate everybody who subscribed. If you ain't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button right now. Make sure you hit the like button. It's a new day. It's a new year. We spreading love and positivity, man. We alive and free. Can't complain about nothing. We're blessed. And we just want y'all to have a great day. If it already started off bad, or if you already had a bad day today, we just want to make sure that you turn that negative upside down. You got to be able to turn the negatives into opportunities, man. Turn your negative into an opportunity. So right now we're at the lake and we're kind of working out, doing a morning stroll. It's not considered a workout, but uh, no, look here. We had a, we had a membership at LA fitness. And we didn't even go because somebody didn't want to go. So when we, we first had a trainer and everything, when we first met, I was at the gym like twice a day, right? I was motivated. I was looking good, and then I motivated him to get a membership. You're walking too fast for me, baby. Hold on, <sighs> slow down. Um, we ended up getting this membership at LA Fitness, and we had a trainer. What was his name? I forgot. Anyway, I want to talk to y'all about turning your negative situations into opportunities. A lot of y'all be telling me to. Uh, show my jewelry off and show my cars and show my closet and my shoes but man this vlog really ain't about showing off we're trying to show y'all the real and let y'all know we regular people and we got struggles and regular problems like regular people you know what i'm saying and people gravitate to what's real y'all need to just keep y'all's belongings to yourselves because it's not about showing off all the damn time my range rover in the shop right now man i blew the head gaskets if y'all don't know what that means I've toasted the engine. My boy working on it right now. He's trying to rebuild it, but it's taking a lot of time and costing a lot of money. But we're going to turn that into opportunity and share it with y'all. And let y'all know we ain't going to let nothing get us down or hold us back from reaching our goals and accomplishing our dreams out here, baby. <laughs> Pastor, look. And before y'all be like, oh, I thought you was a baller. Man, baller or not, when you got about five or six people that got to eat every time you eat, you gonna cut back on your spending habits. You know, I can't be splurging with the money like I used to. I got a lot of people depending on me. Did you really throw your little honey bun wrapper in this stroller? I don't wanna throw it on the ground, oh baby. I can't litter. God. I'm trying to be a better person, baby. I'm trying to be the best version of myself. Okay, well, you know there's what I'm a saying? Trash can no, I was gonna, when I get to home, I'm gonna take it out and put it in the trash can. No, you weren't. Yeah, I was. I, I, I'm glad you reminded me. <laughs> <clears throat> you gotta be the best version of yourself, man. You know, yeah, you can't know. be littering and throwing stuff down. Well, look, I'm going to tell you something, man. You get what you give. You putting all that negative energy, leaving negative comments and all that, man. You ain't doing nothing but hurting yourself. You ain't hurting me. My life will not change one bit, you know. My life ain't finna change. Whenever I do bad, dumb shit, dumb bad shit happens to me. When I do good things, good things happen to me. It's easy. It's how the universe work. Put some positive out there, man. Put some positive vibes out there. Spread love. And it's gonna come back to you. Trust. That's why this little beautiful creature right here is so blessed. Cause that's all she do is spread love. Right, baby? Uh, I kinda do. Thank you, Jesus, for blessing me with this beautiful spirit right here. This beautiful light. Y'all wanna know how we met? Oh my God. <laughs> so I pulled up on a white horse. <laughs> <laughs> Houston just chilling right here. What is it? Is the water? I hope y'all had a good day today. By the time y'all see this video, day gonna be over, but uh, unless you're on the other side of the world, man, good morning to y'all and good evening to the rest of y'all. I just made some guac. Oh, look, baby, I didn't see that. Look what you got over there. Give me some of this. Look at this. What you put in homemade. this? Homemade. I was reading. What you put in there? It's like fish. You can put anything in there. I put tomatoes, onions, avocado, salt, and lemon. You put a lot of lemon in there. You swore that it tastes like fish, but you ate half of this bowl. It's pretty good. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> you eat that? No. Nope. Uh -oh. You trying to be mean? But it tastes like fish though. He hurt my feelings when he said that. You ever seen the movie La Bamba? No. It's like, it smells like fish, but it tastes like chicken. <laughs> Anyways, you hurt my feelings. Can you apologize? 
Sorry, baby. This is good. You see me eating it. Now your money gone. Call your baby mom and she say she need help. Can't do nothing. Now she found somebody else. Tattoo tears and your niggas disappear. Man, you better listen here. This shit happen every year. Put some money to the side. Put your trust in no man. Let's you like eating all noodles and spam. G game ain't pretty. Get it while the shit good. Let the money stack. Find a way up out the hood. Boys buying chains trying to look like a boss. Should have bought a house and let the tenant pay it off. Uh -uh -oh. Old school knowledge. I didn't go to no college. Put that on my diamonds and my gold tooth polish. I'm so blessed. Thank God that I made it. All my Homeboys gone, incarcerated. Going over there to this black building right there. I'm gonna tell y'all a story when we get inside. This guy took the elevator to the top and jumped off and landed right here. Boom! In the lobby. It sounded like a gunshot when his head splattered on the floor. So now they say this building's haunted at night. I wonder what he was thinking on his way up. That's a long way down too. Woo! You feel me? Bro, took the elevator, walked out, and said, Yata, watch your way. And jumped off and landed. Boom! And this is where all the money is made, man. Y'all rappers out there want to find y'all some money? With all the money, then you coming in with the money right now. This is where y'all need morning, to be. The man with the plan. Alex. What's happening, man? What's up? Uh, we on Luciano TV. My name is Julio Goto, CEO of GT Digital Distribution. You know what I'm saying? So after you finish being in the studio, doing what you do in the streets, after you finish moving around, promoting yourself, uh, dealing with record labels, uh, dealing with... Uh, 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 clubs and you know promoting yourself out there at the stores and streets you come see me when you're done with all your music I wrap it all really nice and tight for you make sure it goes everywhere throughout the whole universe and then I make sure to collect all the royalties and bring back the money to you I'm your funnel I'm the pipeline man and as we're doing so we'll start building a relationship we start seeing what your values are who you should be connecting with and that's where me and my team come in and we really put a, a magnifying glass on you and make things happen you know what I'm saying so I mean everything's possible over here at GT Digital Distribution GT Digital you Distribution know? we've been in business for like 10 years 10 me years, and Julio man. man you want to know the key to a successful business relationship is never argue over money me and yeah, this big man. bald head man might yeah. argue over a lot of things, but we never well, argue hey, over money. Hey, I'm going to tell you like this. Sometimes I get my way, sometimes I don't, man. Like I say, man, we ain't going to argue over money because it's too much money to be made. Hey, you know what it is? Go ahead, have it. Cool. Next time you're like, all right, tell so have it. It's whatever. You feel me? We just keep it pushing. And we keep stacking, 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 stacking. You know what I'm saying? You know. All right, where my check at, man? Here you go, bro. You know what I'm saying? What's today's date? The 10th. The 10th. Today's the day. Matter of fact, today's the day of my dad's uh, death date, man. January 10th, man. You know, right, salute people. Larry Sanchez. San Francisco Mission District, baby. You feel me? That's the goal right now. Little Houston, man. Got big dreams for you. Huh? Mwah. What's up? He's a cute little baby, man. Smell good, too. Huh? Smell like a baller. Yeah. He ain't even crying. He like, man, let me get this money, huh? They gonna be up here, man. Where my daddy check at? All right, man. So we took y'all yesterday to the best... Was that yesterday? Or yeah. two days ago? We took y'all to the best tacos on the north. Now we're gonna take you to the best ceviche on the north. Para dos. Bus está bien. Temptation is real. Yum, yum, yum. So what are you gonna get, babe? Yum, I like ceviche. Does it have lemon? Yeah, I got lemon. Lemon and salt. I honestly don't know what to get. Um, I think I might get a grilled plate. Usually I would come here and get a Michelada, but uh, my New Year's resolution is to drink more water and less alcohol. 
so I'm having me. I got Agua de Jamaica, and I'm reading the health benefit. Wait. You ever heard of that? No. Okay, well anyways, um, it relieves high blood pressure and high cholesterol as well as digestive and the immune system and system. inflammatory problems. It helps cure liver disease and reduces the risk of cancer. It can also speed up the metabolism and help weight loss, which is what I'm trying to go for right now. What is it? It's hibiscus. Look, hibiscus. Hibiscus. I want a Jamaica, y'all know what it is. 2019, I gotta get toned and fit, and I'm gonna order a grilled chicken sandwich with french fries. I don't know if this is the best of each here, babe. Oh yeah. And he was talking about my guac tastes like fish. I'll show you what to do with this. Mm -hmm. What I do? Look at it. Tore up the ceviche. Oh, here you can take the stone though. You need more water? He got him a what? A thick shrimp? Shrimp and oysters. Oh my god, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go through with this diet. Alright, so we're done. <coughs> Kelly couldn't finish her sandwich. Houston eating my rice. You want some more? Oh, you like that, huh? What are y'all doing? Put more spring? So we're getting ice cream. Look Not at ice cream sundaes. I don't like I haven't, I haven't added mine yet. So this is what you do. Go like this. Put it. Get this chocolate syrup. As you can see. Oh, oh, god! Yeah. Oh, this is hard. That's nothing. It needs to go down. Just because you know why not. You got so much. I know. The thing is, watch this, guys. Y'all were saying, why do I eat ice cream with a fork? Because it's legal. And it's America. And also, I don't know, I just like forks better. I feel like it's easier to grab the ice cream. You're not yeah. using a fork. I know, I'm using a spoon. Because people like saying it. Why, why do I use a fork to eat this? Because why not? And add the sprinkles, sprinkles, sprinkles. I messed mine up. I didn't. Mine doesn't look pretty anymore. It's beautiful. You look like you got out the ice cream shop. Like, look at mine. All I need is whipped cream. cream. All I need is whipped cream. Oh my god. Okay, guys. You wanna eat this ice cream? Yes. Mm. Say up. peace. We'll see y'all in a little bit. Peace. Oh, guys. And we're sorry that we didn't vlog when we got home. We just really didn't want to. Peace, guys. We'll be right back with y'all.